All right, today I am working on trying to install the window on the door I built. Um, so I got that window in. Um, you know, originally I was going to try and paint um, this weekend, but um, I live in Florida and it's supposed to rain all weekend off and on. Um, and so I can't really start that process until um, I have clear skies for two or three days. Um, so I'm going to start working on um, installing the window on the new door I built. Um, I like the pool. Here's the window I got. I elected for, they're called like European style windows. Um, I chose those windows for really the main reason price. Um, I could get a other dual pane windows. So at one, I was only looking for dual pane windows. And so if I was going for like a glass style, even though like the original um, windows you see on most um, US um, RVs, manufactured RVs, um, really the two options are Lippert and one other brand that you probably haven't heard of. I can't even remember their name right now. Um, but um, they are priced like they are the only people you can get windows from. I'm not sure if the price is just because they can charge that or I think it's more just normally they're selling to mass um, big companies and so they can charge those companies, you know, $1,000 per window basically. Um, I'm just not willing to pay that. Um, and so I went with the European style windows which are dual pane acrylic um, instead of glass and so they're much lighter also um, so easier to work with I also don't have to worry about them really cracking um, the one thing you have to be careful of is their acrylic is a lot easier to scratch than glass um, and so in the future when I go to clean them and whatnot I really won't be like brushing them with or pressure washing them probably I'll have to be a lot more careful um, how I clean them um, just to prevent scratches um, but other than that you know they're much cheaper um, insulating wise, they're actually supposed to be better uh, for insulation, so um, and it'll look a bit different. Um, I actually like the looks of them. Um, so this one here, I actually got from a uh, this one for the window uh, for the door. I got from a US supplier. The windows I got to go on the side of my bus, though, other where other places, I got four from um, a Chinese manufacturer. To be honest, it's where most of the US people get theirs from anyways. It just took like two months for me actually to receive it after ordering it. Um, and after about the door, I wasn't really waiting, willing to wait another two months to get a new one for my door as well. So I wasn't sure on the exact size, so I didn't want to order it at the same time I ordered the other ones. Um, I ordered from a US person, got it within a week, and it was about 150 more dollars um, to get it from him, but still cheaper than going with you know the glass ones from Lipper or whatnot um, unfortunately like the cheap brands like rec pro and whatnot who have a ton of windows don't offer any in dual pane um, so and again i want a dual pane if i'm spray foaming the entire inside spending so much money on insulation i'd rather my windows be as good as possible and again i'll always have you know the front windshield um that is not great for um weatherproofing uh, but my my goal is i'll end up probably hanging a like blackout or insulating curtain up to block off the front and um, try and keep that heat or cold depending on where i am out um, of the rest of the bus but yeah i'm gonna start uh trying to figure out where on the door line it up right um, i want that window and start cutting for it so the way these windows work is you have the outside um, window piece that you know you see from the outside but on the inside you have uh, what they call the trim ring and basically you just cut a hole um, where the window's going that it can fit through um, and then this is on the inside with um, some screw holes and then um, where the screws you put in just pit, pull them tight together pinch them real tight um, and creating a waterproof seal um, there's a little silicone on it already like a not silicone rubber trim ring on it now um, once it's I painted and everything um, I'll add butyl tape and whatnot there to really seal it um, but I don't want to add that now um, since I'll be taking it off a few different times um, because that would just be a mess um, so yeah we start uh, figuring this one out so camera's gonna be farther away because I'm keeping it in the shade and in the garage basically because it keeps raining a little bit. So, don't want it out in the rain. I'm 
thinking one and a half inches from the top, but um, there's an inside piece that I'm gonna go get just to make sure it'll still be able to fit. Here's the inside piece that came with it. Um, basically, it's a curtain you can pull down or a bug screen. Um, I just need to make sure with the inside trim piece, if I do an inch and a half from the top, if it would still have room to sit. It'll be tight, but it, but it should be enough. All right, gotta go get the ladder out. I'm just drawing my top line first so I know where to uh All right. Not doing one inch from the top. Oh, I'm close. Not doing one inch from the top anymore. I'm gonna do an equal distance from the top of the door handle to, um, you know, the top of the door. Uh, I just gotta, you know, figure out what that distance is. That's more, a lot more measuring ahead of me. Twenty seven and a half. Twenty seven and a half minus twenty two and a half is five. And then divide that by two, two and a half inches on the top, two and a half inches on the bottom of the door handle. Is that right? That seems far. Yeah, I guess I'll draw the line, but that doesn't seem right. All right, from the sides, I need 1.625, which is an inch and a half and an eighth. It's two lines.
Ja, ich bin nicht so schön. Ich All right, I'm going to drill a couple holes so I can get my um, saw in there. But this is not easy to cut. I'm cutting through two layers of sheet metal and as well as an inch of insulation that's in, in the middle of the door. Um, last time I did it to cut the door handle out was not easy, so I'm not looking forward to it. But um, I'm going to cut on the inside of the line I drew because I can always take um, my angle grinder and file some away if needed. Um, I'd much rather cut too little than too much, so yeah, here we go. There's that. Uh, time to start cutting. Um, the main thing you have to be careful of is, you know, I'm going through two layers. Is that, you know, I'm on the outside. It might look like I'm cutting straight with a um, blade, but I gotta make sure the blade's not bent to the side on the inside, um, which would cause um, it just not to be straight at all. I'm also replacing this blade. I've used this blade for a while, um, but. That's why I'm gonna cut from the outside instead of the inside in, um, is because it's much more important for the inside to be, I'm sorry, the outside to be completely straight than the inside. Because the outside is what is going to get waterproofed. And um, the inside, I have that whole shade thing I showed you that's gonna cover you know, anything up if I went too far. Um, there is a lip on it as well, so I mean, I'd have to really have it messed up um, to have to have a shade cover it. Um, so it really shouldn't be an issue, but just in case, um, I'm gonna cut from the outside in um, to prevent any possible um, scenarios like that. The other issue is this blade can just barely fit through the um, width of the door since it you know it looks long, but you know it goes up and then back down, um, and you really can't get any thicker blade, um, longer blade for these tools. So, guys, make sure it's as flat as can be. I'm gonna grab some glasses for this because hot metal shards go everywhere. Um,
Let's go. I'm not too sure how much of uh, the cutting the camera got because it um, died sometime during me cutting the hole. Um, but yeah, I got like metal shavings. The camera doesn't like uh, that background. I got metal shavings just everywhere. Um, flying all over the place, um, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna punch that out. And then I'll have to trim it because again, I'm staying on the inside of the line because I'd much rather trim it where needed versus cutting too much. Um, but yeah, I, although, hey, maybe it's perfect. That'd be great if it's perfect, but we'll see. That is incredibly sharp. I'm gonna grab some gloves because I cut myself like every single day on metal and hopefully today I won't. If you want to know how the door looks on the inside, this is how it looks. It's uh, two pieces of metal, insulation in the middle. It's a lot firmer than that, but just like that. That's, uh, that's how it's made. Let's see how, uh, how close that hole is to what I need. Yeah, we got some trimming to do. Oh, 
I don't know, uh, again it stopped. Um, I was just filing it down with the angle grinder. I had to file more than I thought, but again, I'd rather file some than cut too much. So I think I have it in the right spot now. I just need to go get some water because I'm dizzy and it's blazing out here. So I'm gonna take a, a small break um, and then I'm gonna just file the um, insulation in the middle of the door down a bit. Um, it's, it's bulging in the middle a little bit, um, but then I'll try and put the door in. So, I was going to stop and take a break for lunch, um, but it's about to rain, so I need to get this window in. Um, but yeah, I think it's good to go. I'm just gonna take this file and file the edges a little bit, um, just so it's not so rough. Um, but for those who wanna know how I built the door, um, what I did is I got aluminum U-channel, um, and if you can see, I got two um, sheets of aluminum that just went right in between the U-channel, um, sandwiching a piece of foam insulation, um, and then rivets down the side um, that are just into the um, aluminum sheet. Um, I glued the foam and aluminum sheet together, um, so um, that's glued as well. But yeah, did that all the way at the all the way around. Uh, 45 degree corners. Um, I built it kind of in the frame in the sense that um, the frame wasn't square. Um, but yeah, and then I used a um, single continuous um, hinge. Um, so the hinge goes the whole way. It's rated for like 400 pounds, but um, you can use it up to like 700 pound doors. You just have to add a couple more screws. Um, so. And I built this out of aluminum, so it's scratched up. Um, yeah, the door looks like a mess right now. It's scratched up because I sanded it. I'm getting ready for paint, so this paint has something to bite into. Um, but yeah, I did the made the door out of aluminum just so it's a little bit lighter, um, less wear on that hinge. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and put that um, window in now. Um, just because, well, I'm going to sand this first. Um, the rain's coming, so I just got to hurry. I'm trying to uh, now.
It's done. It's done. All right, let's check it out. It is in. Um, it's open right now. I can. I have a plastic film on it. Um, I'm gonna keep it on it for now, just because I'm gonna be taking this window on and off, um, probably like two more times. For I have to prime the door with some self-etching primer, and then um, I'll need to paint it, it, and I'll just probably just take the window off. Um, but yeah, so it goes through. Um, so here's the trim ring I was talking about. It's got the screw holes. Put the screws in. Um, all the way up and around and then this window just you know opens like this shut it it's got uh, four hinges or four latches sorry um, they're button press I'm not focusing on it Ooh. button press to uh, open them um, but yeah it's super nice um, dual pane um, real thick um, and again, these are like Euro European style windows. I like them. Um, once the bus is painted, it'll look nice and clean. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I've got this thing I can put up and just to see what it looks like. To be honest, putting this thing up, I'm pretty sure I just it just kind of like sets on there. I wonder how secure that is though. But here's what it would look like. Um, I need to figure out how it's. I'm actually supposed to attach it because what I'm doing is definitely not right. But hey, this is what it would look like. Oh, how'd you like that ride? You just dropped the camera. Um, but here it is. Can I zoom out anymore? I cannot. But yep, there, there it is. It's there's the you know inside portion. Um, right here we got a bug screen, and then a shade, and on the on the back of the shade it's um reflectant so um, should be should be a nice little insulate bonus insulation so I like it I have the windows for um, the side of the bus too um, I might try and do those this weekend but I'll probably try and paint the sides with self-etching primer first because um, I have to prime the bare metal um, but I'll probably try and do that before I put the windows in but yeah, good stuff. Um, hopefully, uh, again, I said this last week, but hopefully I'll get to paint next week. Um, it's just gonna be dependent on the weather. Um, you can see, I didn't videotape it, but I did finish sanding the rest of the bus. Um, sanded everything, real boring, so I didn't you know, record a video of it, but um, it's ready to be painted. I just, again, dependent on weather. All right. Good stuff.